latte art today. I am not mad at it. I'm getting better, you guys. Look at this, look at this. We're gonna make some bacon and eggs for the kids so that they're um, fed, have breakfast, and then once, as, soon, as long as they are fed, and then we do our crafts every morning. They did our, their crafts. Okay, I need, to, I need to finish one sentence before I move on to the next one, but as long as they are fed, then I can kind of like do whatever and they can play. But if they're not fed yet, then like it's like trying to do things backwards. But I was gonna say that they did their crafts this morning and this was day, I think this is day eight or nine, maybe day nine and love this one. It's like a, it'd be a great stocking stuffer. I figured if, you, if you're looking for a stocking stuffer, it'd be a great stocking stuffer. Not the craft, but you know how like they have like the black square pages and then you just scratch off to do a design with like a wooden dowel. You can basically take it anywhere with you on airplanes, car rides, at home. My kids found out from, uh, and my sister-in-law's kids had, her daughter had them, so my kids became obsessed after finding out about it. So I just realized they'd make a really good stocking stuffer if you're looking for like, if your kids are around the same age as my kids, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. Well, let's make some breakfast. Oh, by the way, I have some new loungewear from, never bought from them before. It's probably so loud because of the bacon, but I'll show you guys later on in the room. Such amazing quality, you guys. It's incredible. It took a long time to come in. I bought it, I think before Black Friday. They had like a huge sale and I signed up for notifications because I'm that kind of person who I'm gonna buy something and it's going on sale. I'd rather buy it on sale, but such good quality. I believe this is like fully recycled material. It's a little expensive, but it's amazing. Love it. Turned on my little Christmas tree there in the back. I have my eye patches on. I actually really like these. They're from Erno Laszlo. I've mentioned them in a few Vlogmases, and I think they have really great skin benefits. Like when I take them off, I can feel a difference. They are expensive, but I do think they generally have really great skin benefits. So I'll link them down below. They're part of, I got these, Part of a 12 days of masking gift set on Amazon so there's 12 eye masks you can just try I'm not sure if you can buy them individually maybe she could but they might I think they sell them in a pack of three four or something like that um, so it's a little bit cheaper so you can try them out but for this segment of the video I thought I would talk about some of my favorite jewelry pieces the holidays are coming and I feel like these would make a great gift they do have unisex pieces men's women's um, and just so many different pieces to choose from whether you want gold they do have some silver pieces necklaces earrings bracelets rings I will say from my experience I've been working with them for quite some time now so I have a bunch of pieces I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorites so I would say their earrings probably withstand the most wear I wear these. These are some of my favorites, actually. They're like a moon and a star. So this side has the moon. I mean, you could obviously swap it out. It's like a little hoop, and it doesn't have the back piece. They just kind of like clasp, so very easy. You don't have to worry about losing the backing or anything, but I think this is cubic zirconia, if I'm not mistaken. There's like a moon and then a star here. I These are my top favorites, for sure. Hands down, love them. They're so dainty and simple, but yet they're super unique at the same time without being... Um, too extra. I wear these all the time, like I said, and there's absolutely zero tarnishing on them, zero signs of wear. I sleep in them. All the pieces that I have, if I'm not mistaken, are gold plated, so they're not solid gold. They're gold plated, but they're very good quality gold plated. So when it comes to gold plated jewelry, you want to be careful. You don't want to be wearing your rings, bracelets, doing handiwork around the house, washing dishes. You do want to take them off if you're going to be washing dishes. Um, otherwise, you will see wear if you're going to be constantly scrubbing it and you know washing dishes, things like that. Same with their necklaces. I would just say take it off. I sleep in mine, but if you want them to last, then you have to take care of them. I feel like that's true with anything in life. If you want something to last, you just have to take care of it. So considering their, I would say their prices are very fair for the quality that you're getting. They're very good quality. I've had this one. This is one of my favorites. It's the Yousef necklace and it's kind of like a unisex chain of sorts. I personally love this one. I think it would make a great stacking piece as well. You can make it as long or as short as you want. Well, not as long as you want, but you could make it a choker style or a little bit longer, and this makes a great stacking piece. This is a great unisex style, but I would say it's a little bit more feminine than anything because it does have like the little diamond or cubic zirconia on the back, and then it has this piece here that says BU. This one is one of my favorites and I personally love to stack this with, let me actually get all my necklaces. 
Oof. I have them all here on like this Amazon necklace holder and then my earrings I keep I'll show you guys in a little bit but this one I absolutely love to stack with this chunky I believe this is the Adam if I'm not mistaken the Adam bold these two stack very well together what I'll do is I'll make this one a little bit shorter and this one a little bit longer and I think it's such a great stacking piece if you're looking for like a masculine type look those are absolutely I absolutely love those next I have these two here which I love as well, but they're more of like a feminine, girly, they have a bit of like glitz to them, even though they're not sparkly in terms of um, having any diamonds or anything. They, the way that they're designed, they have like this glitz to them, so they'd be very cute with like a going out outfit. And what I'll do is I'll do the same thing. I'll keep one shorter and one longer, and they look absolutely gorgeous when you stack them. And right now they do have a sale for buy one, get one 60% off. So I think that's a really good deal if you're looking to buy stacking pieces. So those two sets, in my opinion, stack very well. And they do have bracelets as well, a bunch of different bracelets that actually match the necklaces. So there's this one here, that's that same bold, chunky chain link bracelet. And this one's a little bit more feminine. It's like those gold beads. I would just say you do have to be very careful with this one, I have noticed. And then I have this, which is like kind of like a, a rope style. So they have so many different types of bracelets as well. And then they have a bracelet that kind of matches this style here. I'm just kind of like going through and sharing some of my favorites and my thoughts on them. And then most recently they sent me this one that I chose. It's kind of like a watch and I love it. It does have an extender as well. If you were to purchase it, it does have an extender. And this would actually make a great gift if you're looking for like a gift for your mom. It's something that I feel like my mom would even wear even though she wears absolutely zero jewelry because it kind of looks like a watch style and it mimics that same style. So this one I actually really, really like. I'm really excited that they came out with something like this. I feel like they have, they are, you're bound to find something that you love. So that's kind of it for the necklaces and bracelets portion. Um, now I'm going to show you guys all of the earrings. And I would say that if you're looking, if you've never bought from them before, try out their earrings first. I feel like their earrings are so resistant to so much wear. Even though they're gold plated, they just withstand so much wear. I would say that the necklaces are a little bit more fragile and the bracelets. And then lastly, the rings. I feel like gold plated rings you definitely have to be careful with. But I keep my earrings in this um, situation here. It's like these forever roses that my husband gave me for Valentine's Day. It was a local floral shop and it comes out with this comes with this pull-out drawer which I think is super cute. I just keep it on my desk here and I have a bunch of different earrings here. So these are just rings but these all right here are from Ana Luisa. I'm just quickly going to go through and talk about some of them. There are these here. I think these are the Lisa if I'm not mistaken and these would make a great like going out type earrings. Sorry, it's like not wanting to focus. It has like this bangle here, cubic zirconia, Pandora type bangle. Very easy to put on and off. You don't have to worry about losing the backing or anything. These I love as well. Actually, I love all of them because they're kind of like a twist on a typical gold hoop. Just love the character that they have. And then there are these, which are another favorite of mine. Almost looks like you're wearing two hoops at once, the way that they are designed. I wear these all the time. And then this is like a huggy hoop, a little mini huggy hoop, but this one's textured. So it just differentiates from like your typical huggy. And then this one has actually a really good weight to it, I will say. So good quality there. And then these are more of like fun ones. They're like the safety pin here, which I think is super cute. These I don't think they have, but they had them when they had a Valentine's Day. I think these are just so adorable. I wish they'd come back with these for Valentine's Day because I think these are such a cute Valentine's Day earring. And then last but not least, I have these, which is like a faux pearl of sorts with this chain that goes on to the backing and kind of gives like a, a little edgy, edgy feel to your typical pearl earring. So those are all of my Ana Luisa pieces. I would say like 80, 90% of my collection is probably Ana Luisa pieces and for good reason. I do think they're good quality. If you're looking for a holiday gift, I feel like right now is a great time to buy because they're buy one 60% off. Be sure to check them out, but I think I'm going to do my makeup now. My eye patches are basically dry. Like I usually don't take them off until they're completely dry. And I think I'm going to do like an everyday makeup look and then bring some presents down from the basement. I hid them all down there. They came from Target and like the Target shipping boxes and I hid them so that my kids don't mess with them. But I think I'm going to bring them from the basement and 
let's like slowly start wrapping them and put them under the tree. I think that's, I think that's what today's vlog is going to be. Actually, just kidding. I'm not going to do my makeup. I feel like I'm not leaving the house today, so I don't feel like doing my makeup. But I did do my brows before I even started filming that last segment. I already had my brows on. And I did like a soft wing liner using eyeshadow. So I'm just going to keep it like this. Honestly, I feel like I'm not going anywhere. So why bother? I wanted to show you guys these two, what they look like stacked. So this one I made as long as possible, the longest length. And then this is the Yousef one. I think this is Adam Bold short, if I'm not mistaken. Or just the Adam Bold. And then this is Yousef, one of my favorites for sure. And I just love how it gives like that it's not like too crazy masculine not too chunky while still being a little bit feminine so i think this is why i love the yousef so much but now i'm just gonna go into the basement and try to sneak these boxes up here without my kids being like oh, what is that i ended up making myself an americano if there's anything that people are going to learn about me if you watch all my vlogmas it's that I drink an excessive amount of coffee <laughs> i love coffee coffee loves me we're a happy family it's just a great relationship but I bought, brought the boxes from upstairs, all the toys. I might show you guys what I got for my kids. Why not? Since, you know, just why not? And then I got this wrapping paper that I got last year. I'm not even sure where I bought it, but it just says Joy with like a blush pink. Because I did kind of like a champagne theme last year. Champagne with burgundy reds. So this fit the theme wear very well. And it'll actually fit this year as well because it has the greens in it. So I have some of that left over. I'm not sure... It might cover, should cover a lot of the toys. And if anything, I have this random craft paper. This is actually from, I think, like the Ikea. You know how they have like the art easel, art easel that they sell? And they sell um, almost like the Melissa and Doug drawing, painting, whatever paper. And this is nice because it's not your typical brown craft paper. And you can just use like emerald green or gold, red, whatever. I have some gold ribbon from when I did the wreaths above the couch. And then I have some... Uh, I don't know, I just randomly found this in the basement. It's like a velvet red, even though I'm not doing red this year. We will see. I do wish I had green, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe I'll just do the gold. Let me actually show you what I got. My kids are in the other room, so I'm trying to be really quiet. This came in yesterday, and it's actually so much smaller than I thought it would be. They are these mini petite and an Elsa dolls. And my daughter, Aviana, has been wanting them for a long time because they love pretend play, imaginative play. She's seven, but she loves like using her imagination pretending they came in and i was like wow these are definitely a lot smaller than i thought they would be i thought for sure they would be like this but this is actually actually works out very well so what i might do with this is actually put it in their stockings this one for eloise this one for aviana like a stocking stuffer and then for my son do like a lego set go to the store and get like a under 20 dollar lego set for like 10 bucks something like that put it in their stockings they do already have I put Play-Doh in there, and I think that's it, because I love Play-Doh. And they were on sale at Target for like under $9. So if your kids love Elsa and Anna, check that out. And then I got this for Eloise as well. I was actually going to give both of those to Aviana. I thought they were so much bigger. Uh, I, didn't really, I guess I didn't read the description, so read the description. So what I'm thinking to do is on Amazon, she's obsessed with Cheetah. They have the, you know, the Na 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 Surprise. They have a Jaguar one, which is the closest thing to a cheetah. <laughs> I feel like she will love that, and it's on sale for $32 right now. Basically, this situation here has the bed. Well, the backpack, you open it and it has the bed, all these little accessories, as well as the doll. So I think she would really like that. And it's on sale for $31.99. So I think that's going to be her, like, Christmas Christmas gift from us. We're not doing anything crazy. And then this is going to be for Eloise, which, of course, they're going to share. So for the both of them but I'm gonna we're gonna gift it to like Eloise I might keep that in the box and package it in the shipping box so that's the nice thing about buying stuff online is that it's gonna already come in a box and you don't have to worry about packaging really awkward shaped gifts like the helicopter and then for my son in here I have this thing here which we're not gonna name in case they're listening uh, he's mostly obsessed with the main character, but I figured I would add to his collection. I don't know if anybody else's parents do this, but my mom will be like, just get them something from us because you know them better. So get them a, uh, like a kid craft pony stable since they're obsessed with spirit. And it has, I think two 
spots for horses and then one like main space and then a place above it's like a really cute i got it off of amazon when it was on sale for 55 bucks because usually it's like 90 dollars and i'm like that's expensive so let me check if it's actually still on sale and i'll link it down below if anybody and one of your kids loves like maybe nieces loves horse stuff this one here so it is very colorful but it has like the two spots for the horses this and then like a little picnic type area up top and it is pretty big it looks small but it's actually a pretty decent size. I just figured I would like, kind of talk through the gifts in case you guys do have, you know, kids, nieces, nephews, whatever. Um, in the last box, I'm actually, my camera is on it. So let me move my camera. This he wanted so bad. So I got it while it was still on sale from Target as well. I think it's 30, it's also on sale on Amazon. I think 32 something dollars. He just will not stop talking about it. My kids are still obsessed with Paw Patrol. They have been in this phase for quite some time, so it makes it easier for me because I feel like the toys are, like, you're bound to find something when it comes to Paw Patrol. So that is what I got for my kids. Nothing crazy. But now the fun part is wrapping. So I think I'm going to leave this in this I'm just going to leave everything in the boxes that they are in, honestly, even though I feel like I'm wasting so much space wrapping this one here, the fire truck. Whatever. It is what it is. this huge box and then to tie it all in together maybe get some really thick green ribbon just to make it look cute so let's go to Target let me change and I think I'm gonna go to Target hide these presents buy some ribbon wrapping paper fingers crossed they have it and then also maybe get a stocking stuffer for my son like the Lego one but I wanted to show you guys the actually let me change and I'll show you the other loungewear i believe this is fully recycled material loungewear is known for not so much their lounge apparel but for like their undergarments and stuff like bras underwear and it's not like your typical it's like very sexy type style but they do sell apparel and this is my first time ordering from them and i am obsessed so these are the sweatpants that i got amazing amazing quality like it's incredible and then it also has lounge here it's like a ribbon not ribbon it's like a silicone feel to it with this I love the built-in waistband here almost looks like the Calvin Klein type and then also got the matching hoodie these are sold separately which has that same silicone type 3d effect lounge logo here and this one is cropped but it's very cute cropped so I'm gonna put this on and show you guys what that looks like these are the sweatpants with like a sports tank from Old Navy like a ribbed lounge sports top absolutely love the fit i got a size small and everything these are amazing quality they are a bit more expensive than uh, like just like a typical old navy whatever athleisure wear but these are absolutely incredible quality just like the detailing i love this right here it gives like off those um you know, like that boxer brief type vibes which i absolutely love and then uh, let me try on the cropped hoodie they are sold separately but I got them as a set and they do have different colors. Try not to mess up my eyebrows, but it's like a perfect, a perfect length. It's not too cropped and it's not too long. So love this set here. I think it is so cute and like insanely, insanely comfortable. 
and I love the attention to detail, love the color, love everything about it. First time buying from them and I can definitely see myself purchasing a bunch of different pieces from them. I think they are just absolutely incredible. So I'm going to actually use whatever I have left here from this wrapping paper and wrap these two up so that my daughters don't see it and then head out to the store. So I'll probably see you guys in the car. Back from Target, I did not find wrapping paper that I liked but I did find a stocking stuffer for my son. The Legos are literally like wiped out. They are wiped out at Target. Can I see? Shh, don't tell just how it's a secret. I'm gonna put this in his stocking. He is obsessed with the newer ones. He wants like the movie, Paw Patrol the movie. And then for my daughter, I found this. It's also on sale at Target. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is a, this is a Jaguar, but Cheetah, she's obsessed with Cheetah. So I got to sneak that into the house somehow. And then for my husband, I got, this is kind of just like a funny gift for him. I saw this earlier, but I saw like a plastic clear one. They, they don't have the plastic clear one. They do have it on Amazon. Uh, they had just this black one. So we'll see how it holds, but we are definitely the kind of couple that will take our coffee into the shower and drink it in the shower. So I got it for my husband. And then I found some of these nutcrackers to paint for my kids. They're just like wooden nutcrackers, $3 section. The dollar section at Target right now has some really cute things, like Christmas trees and stuff. I know when I was decorating for Christmas, I said Target doesn't have, seem to have any cute Christmassy things, but they have some adorable Christmas stuff right now.